You know, everyone procrastinates, but not everyone's a procrastinator. And I've been fascinated with trying to understand the causes and the consequences, and more recently, perhaps the cures of chronic procrastination. Now, when I say everyone procrastinates, yeah, every, all of us put a task off, may delay something we don't like to do. But there are 20% of men and women, and there's no significant sex difference, of men and women who are chronic procrastinators. People always then ask, well, what can we do about it? Well, time management doesn't work. To tell the chronic procrastinator, just do it, would be like saying to a clinically depressed person, cheer up. So what I tried to do is write a scholarly, but for the lay person, if you would, book that explains the science. You know, the title is called Still Procrastinating because there are so many books out there on procrastination. Most of them take a time management approach. You will find in this book, I will talk about how time management doesn't work. We don't manage time. We manage ourselves. We manage our lives. There are 24 hours a day, not more, not less, and it's what do we do with those 24 hours, those seven days a week, those 365 days a year. So it's difficult for, I think, for an author to really select the one part. But I'm going to try to give you a section here on the value of waiting. Let's face it, we don't like to wait. In general, people are not patient. During a time of waiting, however, we have a chance to focus on growth. Waiting during tough times, like waiting for the doctor's call with your test results, waiting for a change to occur in a relationship, or waiting to find a new job, they may seem like they're forever. Whenever possible, we try to avoid waiting. We don't want to wait until we can afford to buy a certain item. We want to have it now. Here are a few basic ways that many people can try to avoid waiting. Try to keep moving. Most people feel better if they're moving. They don't like to stand still and simply wait. The Disney organization seems to have this down. Notice that when you wait for admission to an attraction at Disney World, the line curves and turns with images on the walls and TV screens to show aspects of the ride that's to come, the images and sounds related to that theme. All of these contextual elements are designed to take your focus off the fact that you are waiting. Do you ever feel that while you are waiting, nothing is happening? We may seem to be waiting to take that next step, but this is a false perception of waiting. While you wait, you learn to surrender and cooperate with the change that's happening around you. You can learn patience and cultivate your powers of observation. There is value in waiting that is different from procrastination.